What up, Doe Ledge here? Chill with me. Back with another BTW battle to watch. Going to take a different turn with this one. Going to get away from America for just a bit. Usually when I say that, I know you guys are thinking like Premier Battles again. No, 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 no. We're actually going to go to New Zealand for this one, man. The one outs in New Zealand. Uh, it's a really dope league. Got some, some talent on there, man. Got some talent that I feel, you know, for us over here we always are curious can these people cross over and there are a few that I do think stand out that can cross over that can translate well over here in the states and canada and every you know north america period so i'm gonna just give you guys a, a example of a battle that i came across that i've watched maybe about about three times i really thought it was dope man because i caught some of the references and you know their accents their accents aren't like a huge uh, deterrence from watching. It's not like, oh, they're speaking a foreign language. Like their their English is like it's English. I can hear them. You know what I'm saying? I I get every bar that they're saying. Uh, it was crude, K R U D E versus J P eighty, and this was a good battle, man. I believe this happened maybe a year or two ago. As I told you guys, some of my battle to watch uh, segments. We'll, it won't just be some recent shit. It won't be like, yo, this came out yesterday. I might just, I might take you back a, a year or two or three or four. Yeah, but yeah, so this is about a year or two ago. Um, JP80 is a more, one of their more recent talents. Crew been there for a minute. He got a di whole different style. I like Crew. Um, he just got a lot of confidence when he raps. Um, he, he's very, uh, I guess he would be their version of like a, I don't know, just real street with it. It's not really a lot of intricate punching. It's very direct, but it works. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's just a, a aggressive style. He was more in your face than JP was in his face. And I liked it, that dynamic. It was different. And yeah, like some, he was a bit unorthodox with the way he punched to me. And I just, I found it kind of refreshing JP 80, I would say was the more lyrical crafter. He was scheming. He was punching. He was weaving shit together. He had this Lion King line. It was like Lion King and Tekken and he fused it because he was talking about his, your uncle, like letting you die or something like that. Like it sounds wild, but it was, it was a whole little scheme about, you know, comparing him and his situation with his uncle to the Lion King and letting him die. Of course, we all seen the Lion King. So it was just, a really dope back and forth man and it actually got me like digging in the crates so to speak that's an old term for you you new heads you know you don't know about going to the to the record shops digging in the crates to find something you come across but it just means you know for i guess for you youtubers just uh i guess you would call it binge watching or having tunnel vision surfing you know going down a wormhole that's what you guys are call it just going down a wormhole for more of uh, content from the same person so jp80 I, I wind up watching a few more of his battles man he's he's as advertised so it's definitely about to watch man high energy i like the atmosphere new zealand yo they catch bars and they be seem like they real excited for events there i think we take for granted here in the states because there's so many events all over and there's so many different leagues that we just take for granted just going to an event and having fun drinking or doing whatever activity you like to do and just hearing some good rapping and hearing dudes get aggressive with each other but never take it too far you'll never have to worry about the venue getting shut down because they're doing some fuck shit like i appreciate that so i appreciate the one out so uh, yeah if you want to uh, check this battle out it's on their channel and it's one the number one o u t s n z one outs new zealand yeah man so check it out like i i think another thing is we gotta stop being naive or just not naive we just gotta be more open-minded to watching you know battles from all over because we always talk about our culture or the culture but we just always feel like the culture just means here in the states no when you when it becomes a culture that means it's globally a culture as well you know what i'm saying hip-hop isn't just a culture in america no hip-hop is a culture everywhere it's the same thing with battle rap now so you know props for us helping you know bring it to that level 
when I say us, I just mean everybody who's like contributed, whether you bought a pay-per-view or you attended an event or bought some merch, you know, all that adds up, you know, over time. So yeah, just appreciate what's going on in, in other leagues and in other countries because, you know, they're doing the, they're doing the work. So yeah, this is a really good battle. Again, it's crude versus JP 80 in New Zealand, one ounce NZ, check out the channel, subscribe to their channel. And yeah, man, see, see, you never know what you might come across. You might come across something different. Hopefully a league owner from America, see this and, and check it out themselves. Have one of them guys come out here and see if they can get busy with, with the top talent in the States. It'd be interesting. All right. That's all my time for now. Be back with more interviews, more recaps, predictions, all that good stuff that you know me for. I'm gone. And as always, keep it battle rap. Love.